What smell stirs up your best childhood memory, and why? The smell of rain. Or more specifically rain on concrete? Not sure. I've looked it up, and have found no finite answer, but have read people describe Petricher as an example. It reminds me of my grandpa, who used to sit out on his porch with a tape recorder and just sit, and listen to it beside the garden, in complete silence or hours. It was really zen. Sadly when he passed away and all of my mom, aunts and uncles went through it the tapes were nowhere to be found and no one seemed to know where they went. But that smell sends me back. Rain on concrete especially. After a hot day. I won't call it amazing. But it's a pleasing sort of smell. I remember it from my childhood too. The smell of fresh baked coffee cake. It meant the parents were in a good mood. And I was going to get something tasty to eat. Is coffee cake actually good? It's a pastry and doesn't actually taste like coffee. So, yes. Okay this is really weird, but there is a candle made by Yankee Candle Co. called Buttercream Frosting. My first year in college, 4 hours from home, I walked down to the CVS to pick up a prescription and had some time to kill, so I figured it'd smell all the candles. As soon as I smelled the frosting one it took me right back to Christmas at my parents house. It smelled exactly like the house at Christmas time. It was literally like the Ratatouille flashback scene. I had to walk away to compose myself. I hope you bought the candle. I don't think college kids can afford Yankee candles those MFS are expensive. The smell of stick glue. It reminds me of kindergarten. What is it with school supplies from elementary school? For me there's a certain marker scent. I don't know what it is, or what marker it belonged to specifically. But sometimes I'll smell something like it, and instantly be taken back. I currently have a bottle of all-purpose cleaner that smells like it. My guess, Mr. Sketch scented marker in green. Smell of wood fire smoke. We used to cook mostly on wood fire stoves. Same. When I was a kid my parents had a cabin in the country. When we'd go in the winter my father would start a fire in the wood furnace and the whole house would smell like wood fire smoke. It would usually be late, for a kid. Probably like 10pm, so I'd go right to sleep smelling that. Knowing that my weekend was just beginning. To this day that smell never fails to make me happy. Cinnamon rolls baking in the mall. And a freshly opened pack of Pokemon cards. Mothballs. I'll catch a whiff behind an old person at the grocery store sometimes. And it reminds me of my old aunt Frances. She was a millionaire. But lived like she was on her last dime. Expired cokes in the pantry. Musty drapes. She had this little cottage down in Florida and my brother and I loved watching her feral cats run around. Loved picking fruit off the mulberry bushes. Our gram lived right next door, and we'd visit her, so see Aunt Frances, each summer. My brother has been gone for several years now. He was one of the best people I've ever known. Survived brain cancer, but the epilepsy got him. Young. I'm only 29. He taught me the beauty of staying childlike and being transparent. You always knew exactly how he felt. I love you. Bobby. I'd give you a gazillion upvotes, but I can only give one. Even though I hated school, the smell of the cafeteria still gets me when I go to pick up my kids from school. Also the those simple 10 piece wooden puzzles from kindergarten. I'm a teacher and it's shocking how every cafeteria smells exactly the same. Everyone I have worked in has smelled exactly like the ones I went to school in decades ago. It's like a cross between cornbread and something else I can never put my finger on. Vanilla pudding maybe. But it doesn't matter what they're making that day. Still the same smell. Perfume section at department stores. It reminds me of my grandmother for some reason. The smell of freshly laid tar. Reminds me of playing on my childhood driveway. Yup and the sound of a basketball bouncing. The smell of a home depot. It always brings back memories of going there with my parents and siblings. And how my siblings and I would pretend the kitchen displays were part of the house we lived in, or how we would pick out and read all of the paint colors. Same. But lows. Every time my dad went, when I was a kid I would insist on going with cause almost every time I did he got me one of those kids build it yourself type things they had. That and I just like the smell of wood. Always have. Every Sunday up, until I was 6 or 7 years old we would go over to my best friend's house for a family late lunch. 
My best friend was my aunt. The whole family would show up. As soon as you got out of the car you could smell the sauce and the meatballs. Simmering away. Walking into the house my aunt and her son were cooking and fiddling away in the kitchen. Everyone else snacking. Watching TV. Chatting. My other cousin would let me jump on his bed and show me his pet spider. The smell inside that house was so warm and welcoming and exciting. Knowing you got to sit and eat those delicious smells in a few hours. My childhood is very much this smell. My mother still makes the same sauce her sister and their mother made and it's enormously comforting. My aunt passed away from cancer when I was 6. I truly believe the care she had for me and the food she made is why I have so many memories from such a young age in her home. I'm so happy whenever my ma makes the their family sauce. That smell brings a swell of proper wonderful memories I honestly don't think I'd have without it. Fresh baked bread, candy, nor just give me some of Nana's homemade bread with butter and jam. I know this is going to be gross for most people, but cigarette smoke and strong coffee. My grandfather used to smoke when I was little and always had a cup of strong coffee brewing. While I'm not a fan of either of these things it does instantly take me back to leafing through the Sears slash Roebuck catalog and watching the Ten Commandments on TV Christmas Day. Cigarette smoke gets me too. I would stay at my grandfather's house on the weekends often and sometimes some other family members would be over playing cards. They would all be smoking, and a cloud would kind of form above the kitchen table. My dad is a smoker, and it was too strong for him to be around lol. This was my grandparents too. My mom's parents would smoke in the breezeway that connected to the kitchen, but a cloud would always wander out into the rest of the house. Now when I smell that brand I get taken back to being a kid and playing with those cheap dollar store dinosaurs under the dining room table. The smell of older books makes me remember the Scholastic Book Fair. Excited hushes at the thought of getting the new dude diary and finger pointers and that were chewed up by the dog within a week. My friend gave me a box of old books from her mom's library after she passed away. I kept them on the floor next to my chair in the reading nook. About a year later she asked if I wanted her to take them back. But I told her no. I find the smell comforting. Exactly. Lilacs. My childhood house had a huge lilac bush in the backyard, and when it bloomed the whole backyard was flooded with the scent. Lots of good summer afternoons back there. Sadly I went back a few years ago, and the people that moved, in cut it all down, and took down our tree house. I mean the tree house I kinda get, but why the lilacs? I live in a desert now where they can't really grow cause they are too delicate and they'd fry. I miss lilacs. Man beat me to it, in Michigan in the spring can still remember that wonderful aroma. Fried chicken. Always wanted fried chicken after school. Fresh cut grass. All summer growing up I would wake up to that smell. Hop up. Get dressed. And hang with my friends all day until the street lights came on. We'd all hang at one of our houses for lunch. We'd rotate the house. But we were gone. As soon as our bologna and cheese sandwiches were gone. We would ride our bikes up to the only convenience store in town and pool our money for snacks. Then we would try to flatten nickels on the railroad tracks that went through town. Because there was one pop machine in town that would give you a can of pop with a flat nickel. We had the timing of that train down to the second. Dumb village kid stuff lol. Crayons. Or play dog. Pig shit. Those really cheap chapsticks. Lips maker. I love the smell of firewood and woodsy scents in general. I went on annual camping trips as a child with my family. Mom wasn't exactly mentally stable. And it was scary not knowing how she'd be from one day to the next. Something that made her laugh would send her into a fit of rage an hour later. But those camping trips were something I looked forward to because she was always happy. It didn't matter what happened. I was guaranteed three whole days where she would be happy. Three whole days where I could pretend everything was fine. I never felt safer anywhere than I did in the middle of the Godham woods. There's a spot near where I live now. Just off the local bike path. I go there when things start to feel like too much. We had steam radiators in the house. I love that electricity. Dusty sort of smell when you turn on the heat for the first time in the fall. So cozy. Beeswax. My dad was a beekeeper and the smell always takes me back. That lack of smell when there is a heavy snowfall overnight. 
I grew up in Syracuse and this would happen frequently. Me and my four siblings would then spend the day sledding. I have moved down south and the snow days here are very rare. Chocolate chip cookies. I remember mom making them around the holidays. This is also my answer for the same reason. Although my mother makes chocolate chip cookies and oatmeal cookies and peanut butter cookies and spritz cookies and chocolate crinkles and gingerbread and Christmas cookie baking was an all day activity where we ended up with a few hundred cookies to give out to neighbors and friends. Banana plus blender engine lol. Sounds weird I know. The smell comes from the milkshakes my grandma used to make us. That consisted of milk, banana and nestle powder. They were delicious. Oh. Never thought of putting nestle quick in a banana milkshake. I know what I'm making later. The new car smell. From the age of 6 to 11 my dad bought 3 different cars. He sold his last car when he went overseas for work and he still doesn't have a car. Only times I see him now is the weekends. Sandwiches because I always liked them as a child. Rubbing alcohol. I begged and begged my mom to let me get my ears pierced. She said I could do it if I kept them clean and cleaned them with rubbing alcohol 3 times a day, which I did. This is gonna sound really creepy, but stinky kids. Some of my best childhood memories are ones where I was dirty because I played outside all day, or sweaty because it was hot outside and I refused to go in. So, kid stink makes me really sentimental lol. Sweat. Sand and gram butt with a little smell of metal on your hands from the swings. Sometimes a certain smell will take me back to when I was young. How come I'm never able to identify where it's coming from? I'd make a candle out of it if I ever found it. I dk what it is. But I remember the sweet smell of a certain Kleenex tissue from elementary school. I honestly don't know what it was exactly but it just brings me back to when I was a kid. Just waiting for the inevitable petriture. Oh. For sure. Derwit and soap. Dutch pea soup. As my dad made it from the family recipe. Not just because it is the best food ever to have in the winter. But because he made in the beginning of December. Which meant all the good stuff was coming down the pike. It takes 3 days to make and has so many ingredients. He really didn't do it any other time of the year. He made the bone broth and everything from scratch. It was so full of root vegetables and meat and cooked down for hours and days that a spoon stood straight up in it. Gasoline. Gear oil and grease. Remember me the times I was a small boy and I went to the car parts stores with my dad to buy stuff for his car repair shop. My job now is as lab manager for a company making those oils and greases. Is awesome. The smell of old people. Ocean. It reminds me of how I almost drowned, and my cousin saved me. The smell of lumber, specifically pine wood shavings. My grandfather was a cabinet maker and worked in the carpentry shop at one of the local hotel casinos. He got all the special build jobs around like a full-size stagger coach that was used for several years in the hometown Christmas parade. He always smelled like wood shavings and sometimes would varnish when he would come home from work. So walking through the lumber area at Home Depot always has the potential to make me cry as he passed away 20 years ago this fall. The salty aroma of sunbaked seaweed at low tide. That is my smell of summer, evoking countless memories of the daily adventures of a curious child allowed to explore for three intoxicating months unfettered and unwatched by the omnipresent Catholic nuns who owned my skinny bud other 9 months of the year. She butter sent from the body shop. It's quite different to the smell of glow or crayons, but my mum used it a lot on one of my favorite vacations. I even find myself using that specific scent nowadays. The smell of cigarettes is another one. Strange one I know, but my dad smoked a lot, and the one thing I don't miss is feeling like I was choking in the car when he decided to smoke while driving. It's not a pleasant smell from my childhood as you can tell but it links to a lot of memories I have. Hot Vimto used to have at my tutors, without whom I wouldn't be where I am today. She died recently, and the first thing I did was go and grab a cup to bring back old memories. What's Vimto if I may ask? Fresh cut would remind me of being in job sites with my dad or grandfather. They were contractors. Vanilla sugar, mom baking cakes, gasoline, my grandfather's garage, the ocean and sunscreen. 
I grew up on the coast and spent a lot of time with my dad out in that environment. It reminds me of those times. Edit. Forgot the why. Hot ass that out always reminds me of Six Flags. Old comic books. Best smell in the world. I agree 100%. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more videos.